My name is Heiko Krüger. I'm a neurologist by training and neuroscientist. And I was the first medical doctor recruited as a professor to the University of Luxembourg. And I was happy to be granted a Pearl Chair from the FNR to fulfill a position in translational neuroscience. As a clinician scientist, my research expands from fundamental research with patient-based cellular models into clinical research, where we look into large cohorts of people with and without the disease to define new biomarkers, but up to innovation into healthcare. So for me, it's important to really complete the full translational cycle. Within our research, we really created a translational pipeline. That means we start with a patient, we identify unmet needs, one important unmet need in neurodegeneration is that there is no cure at the moment, no treatment that can slow down or in a way stop the progression of the disease. So we use patient-based material like skin cells that we transform into stem cells that we can further bring up into neurons that are affected in Parkinson's disease. And then we can study these models under the microscope. Here we have some prototypes some rare monogenic forms of Parkinson's disease, but we learn more and more how to stratify also the more common form of sporadic Parkinson's disease, where there's no other family member affected. These cellular models then serve us as tools in order to define new medication. We can screen compounds using a disease modeling and screening platform that was also created thanks to the PEARL uh, support that I received from the FNR and these medication can then be further explored into clinical trials. In our clinical research part, the focus is inviting people to follow the disease to learn more about the disease progression and to identify fingerprints that serve identifying subgroups of Parkinson's because we learned Parkinson's is not only one disease. And here, together with colleagues from Japan, we were very happy to identify a blood-based biomarker that serves us to identify not even Parkinson's disease, but also, also other types of atypical Parkinsonism. The PER grant obtained by the FNI allowed me to pioneer in an area where we created a cohort across Luxembourg that ended up in the National Center for Excellence in Research a program that is an interinstitutional, multidisciplinary endeavor where we follow people with Parkinson's disease and healthy individuals as a comparator to define different changes that are typical for Parkinson's disease and that may serve as a biomarker at the end. In this context, we identified a certain fingerprint, a genetic fingerprint that is responsible for a subset of Parkinson's disease patients we could show that this genetic fingerprint reflects in the function of the cells of these single individuals and in the future we could show that this may serve as a predictor for therapeutic response to new treatments that target specific mechanisms in Parkinson's disease to prevent disease progression to really act on the cause of the disease. In the meantime, more than 2,000 people in Luxembourg support our research and we are very grateful that they come regularly to our Parkinson Research Clinic and to help us in order to advance our knowledge of the, on the disease. We are very happy that to people that initially said, I support you even if there's no immediate benefit to me and it may help rather future generations, we can already offer an immediate return. In the meantime, we can offer also clinical trials in Luxembourg with new compounds that are already foreseen to be disease modifying in this future. So that means we provide access to treatment innovation. On the other hand, and also supported from different stakeholders here in Luxembourg, we were now able to create an integrated care concept for Parkinson's disease, the so-called Parkinson Net, with support from my good colleague and friend Bas Bloom from the Netherlands, that helped us to translate latest knowledge from research into everyday care experience of people with Parkinson's here in Luxembourg.
Based on the joint research here in Luxembourg, together with people with Parkinson's disease, with healthy controls, we gained more and more insight into what happens, what makes people getting Parkinson's disease. And we found some fingerprints that help us to early identify people with specific subforms, with the opportunity to have more directed, more targeted treatments, which we call precision medicine. But more important, we learn even that Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease may start a long time ago, before the doctor can make the diagnosis. Here we have ongoing projects in Luxembourg where we study the so-called prodromal stages of these diseases, the early forms, in order to offer also precision prevention in the future. Based on already existing knowledge to prevent, for instance, dementia like Alzheimer's disease, we gained a lot of experience within the so-called program Demenz Prevention, Dementia Prevention Program, and that will now be integrated also for the benefit of patients with Parkinson's disease here in Luxembourg into the so-called Réseau de Compétence Maladie Neurodegenerative, the Parkinsonet in Luxembourg. So here we create a direct pipeline from scientific knowledge into everyday healthcare experience of people with neurodegenerative diseases in Luxembourg.